Zagreb, the capital and largest city of Croatia, inland from the country's famed coast but no less charming, is a place for any traveler who enjoys affordable living and a friendly local population. It's a large spread out city that offers fun without chaos. Getting around is easy too. Cheap Uber rides and an efficient, clean transportation system made the city a joy to explore. Here are the top 9 things to do in Zagreb. If you can only make one stop in the city, the Museum of Illusions is a great choice, especially if you are traveling with kids or are a kid at heart. The museum is filled with amazing photo opportunities, mind games, and cool spaces where you can walk around and get lost. Our kids did not stop moving the whole time. They certainly did their part to add to the noise while making a few discoveries along the way. The liveliest section of the city is located in the upper town to the north of the Ben Chalasic Square. It's filled with interesting shops and dining options, some of which need to be seen to be believed. This is by far the most odd and wonderful place I've ever been to. It's a bar. Check it out. This section of town is a great place for a late evening meal and a few drinks and perhaps even all-you-can-eat hamburgers if that's your thing. We visited the upper town a number of times during our trip and were never disappointed. From the upper town, visitors can walk west to find the Museum of Broken Relationships, a unique opportunity to discover remnants and keepsakes from some of the world's many failed relationships. Presented with their backstory, the items in the museum capture moments frozen in time, some of the tales will break your heart, while others relate fleeting encounters and missed opportunity. Alright, so what did you guys think of that? It was, uh, I thought it would be sad, but it really wasn't sad because it was more a celebration and letting go. The first place we found in the city was Park Ballet IV, a relaxing outdoor space near the Museum of Broken Relationships, where we had a chance to grab an ice cream, a craft beer, and choose from an array of sausages at fantastic food and drinks. Resting above the city, the park offers some great views of Zagreb and a place for kids and perhaps adults to burn off some energy. Give a video! You are hilarious. Do the video. Can I see? No. Bye. Below Park Ballet IV lies the Tunnel Breach a public bomb shelter that was constructed during World War II that now serves as a very fun way to cross in and out of the upper town from the west. We discovered the tunnel by accident on our first day in the city, and it gave us the sense that we were on an adventure of discovery. If you are looking for great cheap eats with a local twist, you need to try the Strukli at La Struk restaurant in the upper town. It's made from a special dough and fresh cottage cheese, prepared piping hot in 15 minutes. How was it? Good. What did it taste like? Strawberry. Yeah? Do you want to try the cheese one? <laughs> no, just a blueberry? Yeah. You know you pretty much finished this whole dish by yourself. No, there's one more piece. This large public park is about a 10 to 15 minute drive from the city center, but it's an inexpensive Uber ride and a great place to take the kids. We started at the large playground that would have kept them occupied for hours. Afterwards, we walked over to check out what can only be described as a large swimming hole, a sunken portion of land where visitors can wade in and cool off. Not our kids though, they were too focused on filling it with rocks. Nice! Souvenir hunters will find what they need at the Dolash Market, a centrally located produce market where local vendors sell foods in the center while Croatian themed souvenir shops line the edges. The most fascinating section of the market has to be the wasp filled melons at the back. Don't get too close, but I'm sure you've never seen this many wasps in one place. Akira, look at this cheese. That's cheese. I know, I know, it looks so gross. <laughs> hey, what is it? Um, it's cheese. And what does it taste like? It tastes like cheese. You like it? Yeah. 
If you're a beer lover like me, there are a number of great places in the city center to stop in for a beer, and most of the offerings are local craft beers. We stopped into the Craft Room, the Token House, and at two locations run by beer maker Pivovara Medvedgrad, where we even made a friend on the back patio. So that's Zagreb. We hope you enjoy it as much as we did. Taking a video, hi. Is it? Super hot! Yeah? Me and Super Trooper, super, super hot! Pretty hot here. <laughs>